Come on. You going? Yeah, I'm on run. too. Double right. header. Very cool. Oh, man. Yeah. <laughs> Charter fishermen with a 300, 320 day schedule. Our days of going fishing together are precious and, and very, very few. As professional guides, we got them coming. we're always doing the teaching. Put it in there. What happens when we take a day off? First of all, we have fun. Secondly, we need to go fishing with Tom. I learn something every day. I go up in his backyard, I learn things about the way he fishes and, and prepares. We push the limits of inshore fishing. Fishing the shallow flats and also going all the way out to deep water. Being a better fisherman, elevating our fishing to the to the very top that we can get it, challenging the diversity of the fishing. It's exciting. So many different species. Come on aboard. We'll show you the best fishing in the world. That's nice. I'll tell you, man, it's nice to see somebody else do that for a change. <laughs> Yes! Look at that guy! That is a shark. That is the biggest fish I've ever caught. Woo! I thought you said you had him relax. Oh! Dude, he just ripped my boat off. The Hawks K Saltwater Experience, presented by Yellowfin with Captain Tom Rowland and Captain Rich Tudor. Are you gonna finally take me out to those wrecks or what? Yeah, man. We're gonna go out there and check it out. I think we'll be able to uh, find some cobias. And then the permit have been pretty good out there. You know, this time of the year, though, they'll, they'll start going out there on, and congregating. They'll, but we'll also be able to find them up on the flat. Big jacks and big cudas. Big cudas, you feel like catching a big cuda? Sure. It's the best time of the year, man. I've been on you for a year to take me out of these dang wrecks, man. I'm, I'm looking forward to it. And the natural beauty of the Florida Keys, second to none. You have wrecks and flats and offshore reefs and places where they're just are teeming with fish. And Tom's promised me to, uh, a nice fishing trip down in the, the lower Keys and showing me some of his wrecks and stuff, and, and uh, we're finally getting to do it. Tom and I aren't just guys with a common background. We're tournament partners with complementary skills. The one tournament I'm probably most proud of is winning the uh, Key Largo um, IFA Redfish Tour with Tom. It's just, it's been a lot of fun and, and, and challenging, the, the top level of competition. There's one there and one there. Oh yeah, it's about 100 feet away right now, maybe 120 feet away. Get us in here a little closer, man. I'll be able to take a shot. Let's see if I can get about 70 or 80 feet away. It's probably as close as I'll be able to get. This guy's acting a little squirrely already. I can see. You don't need to fly. After a couple shots, I'll back you up with a shrimp. All right. He's after it. He's after it. Put that oh. shrimp in there. Put that shrimp in there, quick. Got a little short. You after it? Uh-uh. Oh, there he is. Idiot. Oh, yeah! You got him. Oh, yeah. Oh, that was crazy. I didn't even know that fish was still there. Wow. He went down, you know? He went down so deep, I couldn't even hardly see him. Well, if you don't eat the fly, <laughs> eat the shrimp. <laughs> He's gonna make him eat. <laughs> He's gonna eat something. That's pretty cool. I'll tell you, every ray, man, has, is it always like this, man? It can, it can be. This is so cool. It's really a fun thing to do in the wintertime because you can just come down through here. I mean, here we are, sight fishing every cast, every ray, and it's a big target. What yeah. a nice thing for your customers that don't see the permit so good. You it's a great can't miss thing. a big old black stinger. People are always asking me why these, why these fish are following these rays like this. And it's really easy. You know, the ray is just a big shadow coming over the, over the flat. And everything that uh, got it. Everything that uh, is underneath that scurries out, you know. And, and a fish like a, pre a predator fish like a Jack Cravel, man, he can he can catch every little shrimp and bait fish. That is awesome to watch him. You throw on top of that ray and watch him come up there and just devour it off the top of the water. That's a pretty well, cool. The other thing is you can catch him on everything: fly, spin, plug, lures, bait, anything. They, they are like strong. It all. They are strong. Pretty cool. 
So we have a lot in common. We've been able to teach each other a lot. And, and he's taught me a ton about Isla Moran. I've taught him a ton about Key West. It's nice to, to go up there and fish in his backyard. It's really nice to have him come down here. Closed captioning is provided by Lorance. We lead, we find, you win. The Hawks K Saltwater Experience presented by Yellowfin is brought to you by Hawks K Resort Marina and Villas. All the fun of the Florida Keys in one island resort. Yellowfin, only in a Yellowfin. Quantum Rods and Reels, fishing at a quantum level. By Mercury Marine. Lorance, makers of HDS, high definition systems. By Bass Pro Shops, your adventure starts here. Sperry Topsider, a passion for the sea. And by Loadmaster, Power Pole, Corrosion Block, Ocean LED, and Tough Line. Rich and I came from widely different paths, totally different backgrounds. I started out bass fishing in a still water pond in Tennessee. I grew up working as a maid on charter boats in the Upper Keys. What drew us to the same place were the waters of the Florida Keys, the shallow water, the deep water so close to one another, bonefish, redfish, snook, tarpon, the myriad of channels, the beautiful flats. The Florida Keys has some of the most fertile and diverse waters in the entire world, and that's exactly what brought me and Rich together. Been down here for 10 years. Before that, I was in Jackson, Wyoming, guiding out on uh, Yellowstone National Park, South Fork of the Snake River all those rivers out there and came down and started doing doing it part-time you know spending some time out there and coming down here for the rest of the year and as I got married that that brought me down here for good and, and that was the best move I ever made getting married first of all was the best move I ever made but the moving down here full-time was great Tom he's a heck of a guy we uh, we met fishing against each other in a lot of the local Florida Keys tournaments um, and we hit it off right away I mean we both kind of needed something. We both I needed to know Key West a little better. He needed to know my waters of the Everglades and, and, and Isla Mata a little bit better. I, I'd go to these tournaments and there was this guy who had his hat sideways like this and I was kind of thinking, God, you know, what's going on with this guy? He probably can't even drive a boat, you know? Next thing I know he comes in and wins the tournament. You know, it's hard to, hard, to, uh, hard to fish against him and uh, it's one of those kind of things where it, it, it's easier to have him on your side than it is than the other ways. Oh, we're in them there. Okay, you ready? Turn the whole school around. You got them coming? Look at them coming. Okay, you got to put it in there right now. Strip in, pick it up and throw it. Just put it in there and move it. Move it, move it, move it, move it, move it, move it. Move it. Any way, any way you can. It's amazing. Tom, Tom really uh, is, is one of the best tournament fishermen I've ever met. His, his, his intensity level is, is surpassed. I mean, we do have to kind of calm down sometimes because we get so jazzed up. But that intensity is what makes us a, a team. Um, he brings that in and his, his uh, technological advancements. <laughs> I, was, I never used a GPS until you know, I started fishing with Tom. He comes on the boat, he's got the, the latest electronics and knows how to use them. Goes home and uh, loads them in his computer. Um, it's amazing. He, he, he's, uh, he's really good at all that stuff. Rich has a talent that I've never seen from anybody else, and it's navigation. Rich can look at a map, whether it's an aerial photo, whether it's a topographic map, whether it's something that we picked up in the restaurant the night before. I mean, you know, a nothing map. And he can start, he knows where he's going, in, at 40 miles an hour, he can find his way through stuff that the locals won't even attempt. The GPS will help but he is a GPS. I mean, he's got it, like, right up in here, he's got GPS in his head. I've never seen anything like it. I, I, I mean, I have learned, I've been trying to learn how to do it. I can't hold a candle to him. This thing's heavy, man. What do I got there? Oh, cow, I caught a bomb, dude. What are you talking about? I caught a bomb. What? I'm telling you, man, I think I caught a oh bomb. Oh, my God. What is that? Help me out. Oh, my God. Oh, gosh, be careful. Dude. What is that? It looks like a big jig. Oh my god, that's like a bomb. You said that they used to bomb these wrecks out here. That's exactly what that is. I oh guess. my god. I wonder if they Look, could blow up. Take that thing home. Uh uh, man. I'm not taking it home. I think really? it'll blow up, man. You don't think so? That's crazy. Hey, let it go, man. What if it blows up when it hits the bottom? Ah! Oh! 
Dude. <laughs> Both together and separately, Rich and I have been fortunate enough to have a lot of success in the tournament world. He's been two-time IGFA world champion. Tom's won or placed in the top five in over 65 tournaments, including a win at the inaugural Great Outdoor Game. Okay, here's the wreck right here, Rich. Uh-huh. You see, oh, that, yeah, I see, you it, see I the see top it. of it? Yeah. Tom's promised me to, uh, a nice fishing trip down the, the lower keys and showing me some of his wrecks and stuff, and, and uh, we're finally getting to do it. Oh, you're not on him. You're behind him. You're behind him. Just don't, don't make any noise. I got him. Oh, came off. Come on. You going? Yeah, I'm on two. Double right. header. Very cool. Double header. header. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. <laughs> oh, oh, God. Double header. We'll be coming under you. I'm coming under. Under. Would you like to dance? <laughs> that was unbelievable, man. There was a carpet of them. Look at them all down there. There's a carpet, like 50 permit. Okay, now you got to look at the wreck. Okay, I'm going yeah, away from the wreck, so you got to just try to keep yours oh, out of the wreck. I'm, I'm good. fine. I'm going to use the trolling motor. Look at that, baby. <laughs> Woo, look at my reels. <laughs> I love this it. This is nice stuff. Oh, man, listen to that. We might have a problem. <laughs> They're going in opposite directions. They are going in opposite directions. Why is your fish taking so much long? How big know, are these, man? man? He's probably really big. I, I got to go after mine a little okay, bit. Okay, I'm going to go back after yours. I have to put a little heat on him. <laughs> I got him turned around. Man, going in two different directions. We're in a world of problem here. <laughs> yours is going. Now we got, what do we have, about 200 yards of line, 400 yards of line out here, 200 going one way and 200 going the other. Uh -oh. I can't believe the runs these things are taking. My arm's hurting, man. I don't get to catch enough fish. <sighs> How we doing? I got mine under control now. We need to go after yours a little bit. I'm just trying to work mine away from the wreck. I don't know where the wreck's. Oh, you're you're out of the wreck. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> I like this fishing better than guiding some days. <laughs> it's fun to be able to you know get what, out and though? bend the rod ourselves. <laughs> it's, it's it's all good. You're right. I you love come it. out here and see somebody do this for the first time ever. Mine's almost ready. Mine is too. I okay. think mine's a lot smaller than yours. Oh. Because they gave me that little crap, that big crab. Oh, yeah, a lot smaller. Look at this thing. Look at it, man. It's hard for me to do it, but I can't. Okay, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> okay, just hold him right there. I'll land mine. Okay. Put them both in the same net. Nice That'd job, be... man. You just get them both in the same net. That'll be much easier, won't it? <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. Look at yours. the size of yours, dude. I think mine's going to eat yours if we get him in that net. <laughs> <laughs> That's fishing, man. <laughs> That's Look fishing, at that. Huh? Woo. Hey, let me help you with that. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's fun, huh? Oh, my God. Welcome to the wreck. Oh, man. Oh, you got it made down here, man. I love it. Wow, I've been bone fishing for the last week and working so hard at it to catch one big bone fish and catch these things. Double header like that. Just We just pulled up. I mean, we were just like he said, man. First pass, and there they were. So a carpet important. of them floating right on the surface. Saw every one of them. Woo! <laughs> that is awesome, man. Yours is definitely bigger than mine. <laughs> All right, man. Let's go let these guys you go. You got it, man. Let's home. revive them. Oh, I'll tell you, I can't believe how hard he fought, man. Beautiful fence. I'll see you, buddy. Woo! All right. Beautiful fish. Yeah, yeah baby. Let's go that get was some awesome. more. Awesome. Yeah, I'll use circle hooks or, or the regular hook, uh, J hook. But what you're gonna do is we're gonna get this fish to bite right here, wow. and you're just gonna you're just gonna tease them like this. We're gonna get their attention and get them to come over, and then you know Rally just thing. doing that thing like that, he's gonna come in and go crazy. Now, one thing that you definitely want to pay attention to, <laughs> if if the cuda is there and your blue runner is is between you and the cuda, he will skyrocket right into sure, the boat. Sure, sure. So you gotta you gotta be careful about that.
best fishery in the entire world. We have the inshore, the offshore, all close to, together. These bay boats, they allow us to not only throw the fly at specific species like bonefish and tarpon in permanent shallow water by using a trolling motor maneuver, but we can also go out with a family of five, take them out to a wreck, and just catch, you know, fish after fish, jacks, um, mackerel, varieties of snappers, um, as well as cobia permit, everything um, out of this one boat. Now the bay boat's changed, changed a lot for us. It's, uh, it's a bigger boat that we can run in bigger water and be much more comfortable. But yet we can use the trolling motor and we can fish in a lot of the same places that we were able to fish in the skiff. Plus, you know, with our charter businesses, there's no question this is a better boat for a family to go out in. This is a better boat for an older person to go out in or a big person to go out in than the skiff. And we can do so much of the same kind of fishing, but at the same time we can, we can expand our range from the skiff into the offshore world and, and really take advantage of all the opportunities we have in the Keys. Look at all those tarpon out there. Oh my gosh. Look at them all. Oh man, there must be a hundred of them, Tom. Okay, what I'm going to do probably, let's see if we can catch one of these Key West style maybe. Throw a couple more lures and stuff in there, see if we get bit. But probably we're going to start chilling. I'm going to throw out some pilchards just to see what happens. Okay. Got him. Set him up. Oh, big tarpon. Nice job, man. I'm the Zulu. You got the hooks that good? Yep. Nice fish, man. He came way out of the water. Just leave that anchor. Yep, the anchor's gone. Okay. I need around. to deal that wheel that trolling motor a little bit, too. I'm getting up on the bow. Okay. Watch out here. He might come up and jump right here. Okay, stop for a second. I'll get that. I got it. What do you look like, Tom? About 60 pounds? Yeah. Good job. It's going to be... <laughs> I think I picked up the wrong rod. <laughs> <laughs> you got him on the little one. That 10-pound rod? 8 to 17. Oh, man. This is a redfish rod, man. That ain't no redfish, brother. Uh, all I looked at was the shock tivet. We did have a heavy shock tivet on here. OK, Rich, I'm going to need to go towards the fish. OK. <laughs> oh, big head shake. You're probably going to see him here in a minute. Nothing, man, they, they love those Zulus. That's amazing, man. I, I, I don't throw those back home. We're always live baiting, but I'm going to start throwing Here those more often. I would have bet any, anything that those fish weren't going to bite. Kicking the tails going down like that, you threw that Zulu in there, and bam! <laughs> well, that's pretty impressive. I'll bet you the guys that are out here live baiting all day didn't, didn't hook them on the first cast like you did with that Zulu, man. Uh, well, you know, some days you're good, some days you're lucky. I don't know which one I am today. I'd, yeah, you're, well, you're out fishing me, that's for sure. That's all right. That home field advantage won't play the next time you come yeah. out of Rod and we go bone fishing. He's right out in front of me here. Really high up on the surface. Ugh, that's a lot for this little reel. Mm. Mm. That's about all I can do with him. I think you're working on it. Yep. Right? He's looking like he's coming he's up. You gotta come up and jump right here. Come on, baby. Jump, jump right in the sunset. There he is. Oh, yeah! It's hard to know whether you can really reef on them or not because you don't know if that tippet's getting abraded or, or what. The Hawks K Saltwater Experience presented by Yellowfin is brought to you by Yellowfin, only at a Yellowfin. Fin Ore, legendary tackle since 1933. The Florida Keys in Key West, come as you are. Yeti Coolers, wildly stronger, keep ice longer. Motor Guide, never stop. By Sirius Marine Weather, satellite weather direct to your boat. And by Under Armour, King Sailfish Mounts, Stabil, Scott Fly Rods, and Plano. These big inshore saltwater fish require perfect knots 
strong line. They're gonna take you in a wreck, they're gonna take you in the mangroves, they're gonna take you wherever they can to get away. It's three different kinds of line, standard monofilament, braided fishing lines, and also fluorocarbon. Each one has a great use that helps us to catch more fish. Fluorocarbon, for instance, they say it's invisible underwater. And really what it is, is that regular monofilament has a different light refractive capability than water. So what the fish are seeing is that, yes, they may see the line a little bit, but really what deters the fish from biting your lure is that they see a long, shiny thing coming off of your line. With fluorocarbon, it has exactly the same light refractive capabilities as water. So what that means is that they don't see that long, shiny thing in front of your lure. All they see is your lure. This rod's making it easy because it's not really it's not really a tarpon rod. Here he's coming up to the surface, huh? Yep. Got him rolled over. Nice job, bud. I'm glad he's not a big one. That's <laughs> big enough, man. I'll for tell that, you, for I that couldn't rod. handle a big one with this little redfish rod. <laughs> Should have gone after something little. I'll take you trout fishing next time. How's that? Yeah. Thanks. Then, then we'll be complaining about that. Tell me if I need to do anything, Tom. You ready for me to play with this boy? <laughs> yeah. My favorite part, man. You know, I was a wrestler in high school. This is my favorite part, really. How come you get to do this? You got him tired or what? Tired? Good. I like him tired. Pretty careful. Bad. I don't think he's hooked too good. Nice fish. Well done, man. Well done. That was good work. I'll tell you Take what, man. Nice. I'll tell you, man, it's nice to see someone else do that for a change. <laughs> <laughs> Let me give you a hand with it. That's a nice fish, man. Let me have a look at him. Nice fish, isn't it? That is. Whew. That's Gotta pretty, like man. That. That's pretty. That's a good way well to end done. it, huh? <laughs> Not bad at all, man. <laughs> Let him go, man. We don't want to hurt him. Got it. Why don't you bump that boat for him? We'll, we'll... Hey, big boy. He's ready to go. All right. <laughs> That's great, man. Time to go get something to eat. <laughs> I'm ready. <laughs> the one story that I can think of when we were in Texas, and I said, why don't you pull a boat around the, the hotel here? And I come out, and our brand new boat is in the ditch. I mean, six feet down. We're trying to go pre-fishing. The, the wheels are down there. I didn't say a word. I didn't say, I wasn't mad, I wasn't happy. D deep down I was laughing, but I was thinking, whew, I'm glad he finally made a mistake instead of me, you know?